guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today is a very busy day, news-wise. Um, it's pretty surprising, but it looks like the androids, the Dokkan Fest androids, are coming next on Global. Um, I'm already seeing people say that this does make sense, though. Again, I, I know it's, you know, Global kind of flip-flopping stuff out of order, but it actually does sort of make sense when you look at the fact that um, the androids have a full celebration, including a summonable LR, right? So that would cover, like, the entire month of February. Trunks, who should be next, his celebration is only, like, two weeks, right? Trunks was probably the worst celebration of the year, I think. The, the Dokkan Fest Trunks is just mysterious. Had almost nothing in the celebration. It was so weird, right? And then Heroes was at the end of the month. So what's probably going to happen... Well, actually, I mean, this is definitely what's going to happen. The androids are going to come, you know, third, probably like 29th into like the 7th range. Like, I don't know. In in this time frame, the androids will drop, right? Maybe even a, a bit sooner. We'll see. Who knows? Um, Then uh, Trunks will be at the start of March. Uh, the AGL Dokkan Fest Trunks will be at the start of March. And then remember that Saiyan Day, the 18th, um, Global and JP will get a shared celebration and a shared Dokkan Fest. Um, so we will see, right? But it looks like that's sort of the schedule that Global's got going right now, right? Is uh, Androids for February and then AGL Trunks at the start of March. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe April would have Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Kid Buu. Um, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen, right? Uh, so with the Androids coming, um, this is very good. I did a top 10 uh, TURs uh, video yesterday. It was actually very controversial. What's funny is the reason I thought it'd be controversial is because I actually like the androids right now as the best TUR in the game. I think Super Saiyan 3 Goku is ridiculously good. Um, you could easily make the case for him as number one. Um, and then, of course, there's also Kid Buu and Super Vegeta, who I think are very high class. But I think that the androids are number one. I thought that was going to be the controversial part, but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. I was like, okay, sure, whatever. Uh, but these two are just badass, man. The seal, um, they nullify key blast super attacks right here. They have their active skill, which serves as a ghost usher. The other character that has a ghost usher effect, Pycon, his can't be used until turn four. And then you have the androids right here who could do it immediately on turn one. Um, basically, the one restriction with this android uh, uh, active skill is you can't be fighting specifically two enemies. If it's two enemies exactly, you will not be able to use the active skill. Um, that's sort of how they are set up. Um, again, they're able to nullify Key Blast super attacks. Uh, the I mean, I guess there's a, there is a couple negatives to them. Number one, their leader skill is terrible. I, I think they have, like, maybe the worst leader skill of, like, any Dokkan Fest this year. Do they have the worst? I would think so. Because it's like... I mean, I feel like Videl's... Videl's is better. I think Videl's is better, right? Trunks... Kid Trunks, Kid Goten, right? Kid Buu is leading Buu Saga, right? Like, it's... I feel like I do not like this team whatsoever. And I don't necessarily like this unit on either of these teams either. Because these teams don't really have Android characters on them. Which is the problem, right? Like, look at this. This is worldwide turmoil. It's got, like, nothing in terms of androids. And when I'm talking about androids, I'm not talking about Cell. I'm talking about all of the other, like, numbered androids um, are not on Worldwide Turmoil. And then they're not on Future. So they, like, aren't really that great on their own leader skill. It's very bizarre. Um, and then in terms of their teams, it's just, like, androids, android slash Cell Saga, Sibling Bond. Like, they, they will carry those teams. Join forces as well, because you could rock them with this unit. Um, this unit, I think these two, uh, when they arrive on global, I feel like a lot of the global players will understand where I'm coming from with how absolutely disgusting these two are. Um, this unit is like, uh, beyond belief, right? I mean, they absorb key blast supers, give you health. They have a scouter effect. They're a support type unit. They're chucking out 4 million attack stats with like 300k, 400k defense. This unit is just ridiculous. Like, like these androids are just different. This power creep, like, feels to me like it really exploded starting with this android celebration. All of these characters, pretty much, in this celebration are just ridiculously dumb, right? Um, the androids are crazy, both of them. But then it's like, even continuing on. So let's go over to the timeline of events right here, right? 
So we're going to pick up right here, probably, um, at the end of November. Um, by the way, Global is, I think, uh, starting this with this celebration as well, which is the next 10 stages of Super Battle Road, which is these ones right here, 51 to 60. Um, every celebration is going to come with a Super Battle Road stage um, is the way this works, right? I think I kind of do like this better. So every celebration is just a little bit better rather than just like randomly dropping like all 10 at once in a celebration. So let's like, you know, you kind of slowly have more stuff to do, which I think works well. Um, I guess they're going to release these out of order. I mean, that, surely they're going to start with the Planet Namek Saga stage with these androids. I'd have to imagine, right? Um, so we have that right there. Uh, then we go ahead and jump into December. And there is a lot that came here. These three will definitely be coming. Um, I think LR, Future, Gohan, and Trunks as well will definitely be coming. I don't know about all of these Fusions EZAs. Um, tonight, it looks like Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta are the anniversary, the seventh anniversary. So all these Fusions characters getting their EZAs and shit just before the anniversary on JP, right? Like, it, it's I, I think it's to buff the Fusion team. Um, but I don't... I don't know if these characters would drop now on Global. I think Physical Future Gohan will for sure, and then the rest of the stuff is just sort of like odds and ends, right? Um, again, I think Physical Future Gohan and this LR, and then these guys will come, but I don't know if, like, these guys' Awakenings, um, these EZAs, and then also all of these characters and their EZAs. I don't know if those are going to be coming um, with all this stuff. I, I kind of am leaning towards them not... Um, just like the, the other two androids that are summonable, right? 19 and 20 and 17 and 18. Um, these three EZA androids are so powerful. It's actually pretty insane. Um, this android unit, I think you could easily make the case. This is the best free-to-play unit in the game. I think they are right up there with the physical Goku and, uh, LR Master Oshi. I really do. I think this unit is right up there in the discussion. They are so dominant. The Android team is actually so insane now. And it's not even Cell. Like, Cell is kicked off the team. All the Cells are just, uh, like, people are going to get mad at this, but the Cells are just not good enough anymore, right? Like, no Cell is good enough to compete with all these new Androids units that just dropped. The only thing, though, is that the Androids need an Android leader. It actually makes zero sense why this unit does not lead the Android team. Like, this unit would be even better if, instead of Future, which makes no, they suck on Future. Uh, if this was World War Turmoil or Androids, they'd have a nasty team. So I don't really know what the, the decision was there. But this unit is insane with their support. Um, they're able to do pretty good damage as well as having pretty good defenses as well. Um, I just think all around that this AGL LR Android unit is very impressive, like, stunningly impressive. And they're pretty easy to get to. All you have to do is just beat um, Dokkan events, um, and you will get the easy medals to awaken them. Very, very easy to do, right? Um, these two also, just like ludicrous how good they made these two. Um, for starters, both of them are all allies. Two key 25% attack and defense. So there's no restriction for their support, which is really powerful. Um, uh, Hellfighter 17 is able to stun. In my experience, these guys shoot out, like, 4 and 5 million attack stats while supporting with, like, hundreds of, th like, 300,000 plus defense is what these two do as, like, sub-easy A's. Like, they're actually so crazy. It's like, I, I, I'll tell, like, I feel like people don't, like, it's like, dude, Super Saiyan 3 Goku drops and, like, it, dude, it's Goku. So, like, everyone, like, all these global players, I say that, when I say that, like, all these global players... My point with that is that it feels to me like the community is like 99% global players, right? So it's like a lot of you guys are playing global and then these JP units happen and your experience with them is through like the video stuff like that. You don't have a chance to use them yet. I feel like Super Saiyan 3 Goku drops. Everyone is like interested in like watching all these different creators videos on it, seeing how powerful Goku is, seeing how good his kit looks on paper. But I feel like some of these characters drop... And, like, a lot of the, you guys just don't really care, right? This is, like, these androids, like... Because it's, like, these androids are all so much better that I feel like anyone gives them credit for. 
And it's like, once you're using them and feel and see their power in-game yourselves, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Like, uh, these, all these androids are just so stupid. They're so powerful, all of them. Um, so all those android buffs come, right? Then, LR Future, Gohan, and Trunks. Now, I have soured a little bit on this unit since they originally dropped. Um, I do think that they are very good, but it's like, in base, right? So, like, the Future, Gohan, and Trunks part of this unit can be unimpressive um they this unit needs orbs more so than the androids do the androids like you could they're still super good they're bringing a lot of their you know uh like assets to the table regardless if you can get 80 100 million orbs with them or not but this unit i found like outright sucks if you're not getting all the orbs because you want to know why they don't get key from their passive they are completely reliant upon getting their own AGL orbs, which they create. But if you don't have good luck with them creating AGL orbs, this unit's really not that impressive, right? Now, the whole unit is designed around exchanging in a future Gohan in turn three, right? Then future Gohan has a revive. When you revive with this guy, he becomes like the best overall unit in the game or something like that. Like with his damage and his defense combined. But it's just very tough to get there, right? It has to be at least turn 3, under 58% HP. Then you exchange into Future Gohan. Then you have to die with Future Gohan. And he revives and he's like the best unit in the game once he revives. But it's so tough to get that to happen, right? Um, When he comes out... Under 58% HP, you do have a scouter effect active. So, you know, typically I have found that like once I exchange, you're usually able to get him in front of the enemy super attack. Because remember, future Gohan himself has to die, right? The way it works, because remember they did that update where the revival icon used to be at the bottom of the screen. And if you could revive, it would just start like kind of like glowing or dancing. Now they switched it to put it on characters on rotation. It's obviously because of this future Gohan. Because in order to revive with him, this Gohan himself has to be the one to get killed. So that's why they give him the scouters. Because you then want to put him in front of the enemy super attack. Um, and he doesn't really have defense at all. Right? He doesn't give himself defense on super attack or anything like that. They did that so it's easier for him to die. Which is fine. But it, it's just a tough path to get him to be at his max potential. Um, I do think this unit is very good, right? But there's just a lot of drawbacks or negatives to this unit, right? Um, they're definitely, like, I think they're much better than, like, Goku and Piccolo and Tapian and Minosha and Super 17 and, like, those kind of yellow coin LRs. This is more so in line with, like, LR Janemba, Hidden God Goku, Exchange Vegeta and Goku, for sure. But I think all... All of the other super top tier yellow coin LRs I do think are better than this unit, right? Like, I'm probably going to record my top 10 LRs in a bit. I think this unit would make it on there, but they're going to be like 10 or something like that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, right? Uh, but they are very good. Oh, oh, oh. One other thing is I, I actually like their leader skill. When it comes to LRs, what we want is this right here. 150% is fine. I know Connected Hope has now got 80 leaders, all good leaders, right? Like, legitimately, all three of these units are good. Uh, Future Gohan and Trunks, um, Gogeta, and AGL Pycon are all good, right? Um, but they're a leader of actual category teams with an actual, like, buff. Not like 130% or some fodder bullshit like that. So I actually do like their leader skill. And a lot of the Yellow Coin LRs recently have been like that, right? Janemba... Um, Hit and God Goku, this unit, all have real leader skills, um, which is good, right? So there's this unit, um, and then finally there's Physical Future Gohan's EZA. This guy is incredible. Um, I think with a Future Saga Trunks on rotation, I think this guy probably is the best EZA TUR, but you do have to have the Future Saga Trunks on rotation. Um, and then, of course, he does build up, right? He gets a lot stronger as the rotations move by and you're building up this damage reduction. Um, I've found that this Future Gohan at his best is really crazy, even better than Tech Hit. I think overall I probably like Tech Hit better, 
because future Gohan has like more restrictions in place. Where like Tech Hit ha gets stronger with Universe Six allies, but I've always felt like that was just to sort of offset the fact that he doesn't link well with the Universe Six characters. That's the way it felt like to me, right? Whereas this guy actually needs a future Trunks um, to be good. But this isn't. It, it's not the worst restriction ever, though. At the same time, because they've given us what twenty five future Trunkses. Let, 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 let's click Trunks. So it's a future Saga Trunks, right? Actually, why don't we just... A better way to do this is if we just go to the future category. Okay. So let's take a look at all the new Trunkses this year, right? Um, this guy, Easy Aid. This unit does count because you have future Trunks right in there. Um, this guy is new this year. This guy also Easy Aid, so he counts as well. Um, this is a new Dokkan Fest. He counts. Um, d -d 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 this guy, Easy Aid, he counts as well. Um, none of them. This guy's brand new this year. This guy easy aid this year. Um, and then this guy easy aid this year. Those are all future saga trunkses like this here. Like it's crazy. Um, so they did set up future Gohan to have good units alongside him. Right. So that's pretty much that. Again, I don't know about all these other units, like these fusions, easy A's and stuff like that. I would assume they're not coming right now, but it's impossible to know until, like, the data downloads and stuff start to come in, right? So, let me know what you global players think about the Dokkan Fest Androids being the next um, global Dokkan Fest. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.